Hello everyone, this is Cybertronian Beast, and let's talk Transformers. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Generations Autobot Drift. Now this figure has a very special distinction. What makes it so special is that this figure was created specifically from the comic books. Drift, as a character, existed nowhere else in the Transformers universe. Hasbro and Takara, their designers, their engineers, created this character specifically from the IDW comic books. And I just so happen to have that comic book here. Here it is. This is Spotlight Transformers Drift. It's a one-shot. And it uh, came out in, what's it, came out in April of 2009. And it's got some really good art in it. Um, let's see here, if we got any. See, there's a really cool picture of him up there. Let's see if we can get an image of it here. It's up the light. Yeah, right there of him. Basically, he's a his he's a Autobot ninja. It's a very cool breed. Um, I remember getting this comic book originally and uh, picking it, grabbing it off the shelf, and thinking. Where the hell did they get this guy from? Who Who is Drift? I've never heard of this guy before. And reading it and thinking, this guy's pretty cool. Um, since, since his debut in this book, he has appeared a number of times in the IDW comic series. And um, from what I understand, he has been well received. I'm sure we'll see a lot more of him. Now, if you remember from my complete collection video, this figure is the one figure that I had outside of the packaging, um, but I did maintain that I had the packaging because it uh, was discounted. Well, that is because if you look at it, this package is just beat to hell. Uh, it's bent up here. It was opened. I opened it a little bit more, but it, I, you know, it's just beat beat right up. But if you look on the back there, it's yeah, it's beat it's beat up. So I uh, yeah, I just uh, I bought it. I got a really good deal on it though. I got a good discount. Nice good picture of them there. So yeah, and yeah. So we'll let's see here. I can. All right, so let's get it open and take a look. All right, so there's All right, so there's Drift there, and he is a sweet little car. Rolls very nicely. I really do like the uh, the subtle paint apps on there. The uh, Japanese symbol. I don't know what it means. You look on the bottom here, and he's got his big ginormous sword here on the bottom with some Japanese symbols uh, molded in. But yeah, it's very subtle, the uh, the paint. It's not overbearing whatsoever. The windshield is a very light tint of blue, which is nice. Would have been nice if they could have kept the tint on the back window, but uh, I understand that they can't have everything. And I really, really would have loved it if the wheels were rubber. But... Uh, Again, that's something that I guess has gone away with uh, 
with G1 toys, they uh, they don't do the rubber tires anymore unless you're getting a masterpiece figure or something like that, something really expensive. All right, so let's get down to the transformation of this guy. What I like to do first is to take out the humongous sword because that's just going to get in the way. Then I disconnect the doors. They are what are used to keep the two halves of the car together. We got the legs on the back, we got the arms and the head on the front. Then I split the legs apart. And flip them down. Bend them all the way out. Move these feet in and let's see here. No, nope, that's it right there. Got it right there. We got move these feet in. And there it is there. Push it up into there. There we go, those are the feet. Alright. Moving on, we will now twist these doors around so that they're kind of like, I don't know, kind of like wings, but not really. We're going to split this front hood piece in half. Actually, we'll bend that down just to get it out of the way. I'm going to split that in half. And that will reveal the head. Now, these pieces are actually kind of neat because they just kind of flip up and over top of the rest here, like that. It's a nice little bit of transformation. And these now are the arms. The, to get the rest of the arm, you just flip out the, that there, put it on the other side. You've got your arms fully extended. And just turn them around so that they face out. We'll move the windshield up and tab it into that little tab, little tab right there. Hopefully you can see it. Tabs in right there. There you go. He's basically done. Just a little bit of straightening here and there. And we've we've got him. Now he does have these really cool, really cool little swords that actually come out from these door panels here. And I love this feature of this figure. So he could basically like cross his arms I know the figure won't do it but imagine him crossing his arms to grab these two these two dagger like knives and they they do they come right out of the door panels it's fantastic I love it I absolutely love it so those just sit right there like that straighten these out and uh, bring back the sword Put it into one of the hands, and uh, these newer figures, they there's tons of posability in these things. So yeah, you can get all kinds of poses in these guys. So there's Drift, fully transformed, and and he just looks badass, totally warrior like, and. Uh, the head sculpt very much resembles, very, very much resembles the IDW comic. I mean, let's bring it in here, let's see for ourselves, let's see what we got here. Let's focus in on it here, get a good look. Okay, so we got a really good look at the head sculpt there. You get the you can see the uh, the light piping in the figure in the head there. 
focus. All right, and uh, let's bring in the comic. You can see for yourself the the attention to detail on this this head sculpt. We've got comic figure, comic figure, comic figure. It's fantastic. Like I said earlier, this figure was created strictly from the comic books. Drift create was in no way involved anywhere else in the Transformers universe, which just makes him a very cool figure to have. I did find him recently on a website for sale for $45. And that's ridiculous. I mean, you can still find this guy for easily $15 some places. So $45 for this particular website is a ripoff. You should be ashamed of yourselves, website, which I will not name, but I'm sure if you look around, you'll find it. Um, the, uh, the figure itself is a repaint of uh, Generations Blur, and uh, the difference mainly is other than color, because it's a repaint. The, uh, the difference other than the color is the head sculpt. The Blur head sculpt is also very, very much IDW-based, uh, so when we get to that review, I will bring that out as well. But uh, yeah, other than that, this this figure is fantastic. Um, as far as articulation goes, he has a knee joint. He's got a, a heel joint. He's got a um, waist, not a waist, sorry, a, a, a hip joint. And he's got a shoulder joint, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. But it doesn't, it only goes in, it doesn't really go out. His head does turn. Not much, mind you, but it does turn. So there is a, a very wide range of poses that he can get into. I tend to like to have him holding the sword with two hands. I just find it looks uh, really badass. So I'll see if I can get him to do it here. But yeah, it's just a really cool figure. I really love having it. And... Uh, yeah. Let's see if I can get lower the arms here. Bring those down. Bring this down. Fantastic. There we go. Very poseable. I love it. It's a very good figure. Out of ten, I give this guy a nine. Um, Lack of uh, sorry, lack of rubber wheels. When the wheels are this uh, prominent on the figure, rubber wheels would have made this thing just fantastic. Um, and a, a hip joint, sorry, a, a waist joint would have uh, would have added to the uh, figure. Um, but uh, it's not needed for transformation, so I can see why they didn't put it in. But uh, other than that, this figure is phenomenal for a uh, deluxe size figure. This is Cybertronian Beast saying follow me on Twitter at Cybertron Beast. You can check on my Facebook page. Just search Cybertronian Beast. Also subscribe to this, this YouTube channel. And uh, I'm also on Reddit. You can message me on Reddit as well. Just search Cybertronian Beast. There are no so shortage of ways to find me if you want to. And if you have any questions about any figures I have reviewed or any figures I have and you'd like to have reviewed, just message me and uh, let me know and I will see what I can do. Thanks a lot and we'll talk to you later.